Ratchet and Clogger. Thanks for joining me today. Um, I am on the way to Hobby Lobby. You want to come? You want to come with me? The My main objective going, um, I do have to purchase something for work, but um, work at the dance studio. But I'm also going to do some footage of the yarn aisles because it's, you know, you can't go to Hobby Lobby and not go peruse the yarn, right? So we will do that. But uh, what I need to do for work, uh, came up with a costume idea for a clogging group. And their dance is to the song. It's the, the title of the song is gonna make you sweat now you may be more familiar with the song as everybody dance now remember I, can we call that an oldie don't seem that old to me but anyway you know everybody dance now boom, 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 boom. remember that one <clears throat> but anyway the name of the song is gonna make you sweat so and they're doing, oh, sorry for all the bouncing. Um, they're doing uh, kind of like, remember the old step, the running man, and mixed in with their clogging. And so I thought we might make it look a little bit sort of a period piece. Yeah, kind of. Uh, wear some black leggings, the shinier the better. Ooh, there's construction up here. I get to stop. Okay. Uh, and I found on Amazon uh, these neon pink and neon green uh, little sets. And what they are is, is sweatbands uh, for your head, for your wrists, and leg warmers. <laughs> neon green and neon pink. So I'm going to look for shirts of those colors. And uh, Hobby Lobby, they're pretty inexpensive and we're just gonna uh, cut them up rip them and zip them and rip them you know the shirts back like they used to do well we still do that but yeah that's what the first thing I'll look for and then we'll peruse the yarn aisles okay so see you when we get there okay Oh, look at these shirts now. See, I didn't know they had these pretty colors. And t-shirts, always 30% off. Well, how about that? But these aren't the ones I'm looking for. But, oh, look at those. An animal print. Hmm. Getting fashionable in the Hobby Lobby. Okay, we're at the back wall now. So all these shirts on sale, this is where I'm headed for looking for some bright colors. But the sale price is anywhere from $6.30 to $8.30. But I don't see any neon green. There's neon pink. Oh, maybe I could wrap the cloggers in some feathers. Okay, here we are at the yarn section. All the yarns 30% off this week. And here's our crafter's secret big idea. That's a four weight, 100% acrylic. I guess it you could call it Hobby Lobby's house brand. I'm, I'm not really sure about that, if you can get crafter's secret anywhere else. But I've worked with it. It works pretty good, I think. Plenty of color options to choose from, and there's some Christmas yarn. And the gadgets. Yarn novelties. There's still some clearance items. I was kind of surprised to find that. These are some note cards. For a mere 99 cent, a lot of this stuff. Now the cards were only 74 cents. All kinds of goodies. Here's some uh, felt embellishments. Love that little llama. I 
think those are like clips, paper clips, kind of like. Oh, a puzzle. Who wants to do? A, who wants to do a puzzle with a bunch of skeins of yarn? I always like to look at the notebooks too, but I don't think they were on clearance. What's that? Oh, for three dollars and seventy-four cent on sale, an umbrella. Cool. Okay, so this might just be my favorite aisle. This is the aisle that has all the I love this yarn, just regular four weight worsted acrylic, 30% off this week on all yarns regardless. But I just like this aisle because you can uh, just see all the colors. I like how Hobby Lobby arranges them. All the prints, all the stripes, all the variegated or marls within the same shades of each other, you know. And it's a really good yarn to work with, I think. Madonna said it best. She said it glides smoothly off the hook. And it does. And it washes up pretty good, too. Oh, there's some neon green. No, I'm not making t-shirts. <laughs> Here's some more of the variegated. And I think uh, I love this yarn calls all of those prints, I believe. But yeah, if you didn't already know, every other week you can go to Hobby Lobby and all the yarn will be 30% off every other week which which is good and the store is convenient to me so I do like to go there oh there's some more neon oh and neon pink too no 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 not making shirts <laughs> I never have a made in time. And that is a, a recycled yarn there. Yarn ID. I think it's recycled. I've got some, but I haven't worked any of it up yet. Oh, and there is the Yarn B Soft Secret. That is equivalent to Caron Simply Soft. Now, Yarn Bee is also the uh, Hobby Lobby's house brand, and they have equivalents of pretty much all the name brands, and the Urban Chic is, is very nice, too. It's a lighter weight yarn, I do believe. Now, this intrigued me. Comfy Classic. This one uh, is called Clay, the colorway. And it's it, it viscose polyester and nylon, and uh, it's only three and a half ounces, but it feels great. And look at the stretch on this. Make some nice garments. Or anything, I guess. And the colors, that's a pretty pink navy okay and here we go with our hand dyed hanks oh boy most are uh, superwash merino I believe <clears throat> but I did see some alpaca in here it'll be coming up soon Aren't they beautiful? And up there in that corner, I didn't take it down and look at it, but boy, that is a beautiful hank with that uh, dark blue aqua with the natural colors. And then down here, look at this cute little gift set. 
And these are all cottons. I love this cotton. Isn't that pretty? Little bitty things in there for $30. But 30% off. I guess that'd be worth it for a nice gift. Now that is a beautiful deep beetroot is the colorway. All right, let's look at this a little more close. <clears throat> yep, Superwash Merino. It's a super fine one weight, 420 yards. That is one pretty color right there. Ooh, look at that rainbow. Yeah, and that's pretty too. Those are my colors. Blues. And this one, the colorway is Proud Peacock. And it's 100% baby alpaca. It was quite soft. Now this is a two weight. God, with that mustard thrown in there, isn't that pretty? And this one had some pretty sparkle to it. I don't know if you can see it, but very fine, sparkly in there. Is that the, what they call Stellina, right? I don't think I looked at the tag on these to see, but isn't that sparkle pretty? Look at this neon, peach and orange and pinkies. This was 100% super wash. Oh, that's a light three, neon watermelon. It's a pretty color. Okay, and here's some of the furry stuff eyelash yarn or whatever you want to call it. Some fuzzy wuzzies. All kinds of stuff to see. Here's some velvety stuff. I didn't look at this too closely but Bernat Casa. Furry and fluffy and soft. Look at the colors in there. I wish I'd dug a little deeper. And yeah, that's uh, made by Yarn Inspirations. And here we're back to the Yarn Bee Velvets. Like I said, can't hardly keep your hands off velvet, can you? I don't know about working with it. Well, it's nice to work with, just hard to finish off, in my opinion, as far as tucking the ends in and weaving. But there's a whole bunch of uh, availability here. And what, this is, oh, Scrubology cotton. Okay. Oh, and a sport weight cotton. No, excuse me, this is 100% acrylic. This is the, I love this yarn acrylic, but in a lighter weight, yeah. There's your sugars and sugar and cream cotton. And the Yarn Bee Scrubology. Now this uh, is, is scrubby all the way, right? There's no cotton mixed in here. hundred percent nylon yeah I used uh, that to make the back scrubby pattern by Mad Mimi's crochet and farming I've heard a lot of people talk about Katarina oh and this is one of my favorites the soft and sleek DK it's a low pill uh, acrylic 100% and it is really very very soft and it's a nice weight to work with
they also have the soft and sleek in a worsted weight. Look, we'll get to that in a minute. That's on down. But this is a beautiful, look at that. Mustard color. Oh, it's called Dijon. God, I love how, that's pretty. It's a bit of flex of brown and mustard. And these were cute, these little things. They're called Sweet Minis. I've never had any of these. But look at those colors. Love it. Oh, it's called Hello Hummingbird. <laughs> That's fitting. 100% acrylic. Okay, so lightweight three. 300 yards. I guess 100 yards a piece, right? I mean, I don't know. Didn't look at that close enough. But yeah, there's a whole bunch of choices here at Hobby Lobby. Look at the pretty cakes. And these little, uh, I think they're called mini makers. Yeah, that's something new to me. Tells you how long it's been since I've been out shopping. I guess that's the regular, uh, I love this yarn, isn't it? No, it says yarn bee. Well, it's probably the same thing. Or near enough to it. Okay, so here's the soft and sleek uh, in a four weight. 100% mm -hmm. low pill acrylic, 186 yards. I've worked with it before. Um, and it, it, it really is nice to work with as well. In fact, I think this is the one that I used for some of the Hat Not Hate hats. I used as sort of an accent along with some blue. This one's called Denim Blues. But yeah, that's a nice yarn too. Here comes some more pretty cakes. Colorful cakes. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed that. Um, a lot more happened in there <laughs> than what I think. First, this really nice lady had some uh, granny squares that she'd done up. She was trying to match yarns with them, so I had a fun time helping her choose yarns. <laughs> I don't have to buy anything. All I got her. <laughs> and it's funny because I, I mean, she just approached me and said, "What do you think?" <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then she came back to me. 10 minutes later, she found me again. She said, you know, I found this one. I think this looks better. What do you think? <laughs> That's fun. And then, this guy, this dude, with the, with, well, he had on a, he had on a hat, right, that was made. It looked like it was store-bought, you know, kind of a knit with a brim, real, uh, real, uh, slouchy with the brim. And, uh, I could tell he had dreadlocks under there. And he just said, is there anybody here that can help me? I need another hat. <laughs> and I said, oh, do you crochet or knit? He said, no, but a good friend of mine bought me this one at a at a show or whatever, you know, the craft fair. And he said, and I want another one. <laughs> he said, can you make me one? <laughs> and I was like, sure. So anyway, he picked out his yarn, and he picked out this. So I'm going to make him a hat. I'm gonna oh, upside down, sorry. So he picked out, he just loved these colors. It's uh, Baby B, My Sweet Love. And there's the specs. Um, so it's a five weight. So I'm thinking, you know, I should be able to get him a, a hat. He didn't want it quite as slouchy um, as w the one he had on, but uh, as long as he could still get his locks all, you know, rolled up on his head and get it on, it's fine. So I'm hoping this will this will be enough, um, and I think it will. It'll work up quicker with a five weight. And I made sure that he knew we had some pretty brighter turquoises and yellow or green in there. He was, oh, he said, oh, that's cool. 
he didn't realize all those colors were in there so he's good with me mixing in another color to match if i need any more because i got i got enough at home i'm sure i can match it up with something if i need to and he said and if i can get a brim put on it that'd be cool too so there you go and then i'll be getting in contact with that dude to get him his hat how weird is that <laughs> um other than that i didn't buy any more yarn um i did buy a lot of the clearance things that you saw uh, me looking at here's some pretty uh clips i don't think i filmed these these were on clearance for 99 cents aren't they pretty uh bought some of the oh and uh check this out this is cute this was $2.49 on clearance i can't believe this stuff was still there on clearance it's a sleep mask <laughs> wake me up yarn goes on sale no wake me up when yarn goes on sale <laughs> i like you and i bought a few of these cute little llama notepads they were on clearance for 99 cent i thought they were cute in fact before i went in i was looking for <coughs> excuse me i was looking for something just to write a note on uh here in the car and i didn't have anything so hey that'll come in handy and you know, maybe future giveaways. Look at these, ain't they cute? These were also four iron-on patches for 99 cent. Aren't they cute? Yarn Queen. It's a good day for yarn. I'm trying to read it, because to me it looks backwards. Uh, I came, I saw, I crafted. <laughs> I have a degree in yarnology. <laughs> That one should go to Reggie. <laughs> oh, and oh, these are cute too. These were on clearance for 99. They're just little pin. Yarn days, yarnologist, all tangled up. What does this one say? Life would suck without yarn. Oh, and it's a succulent. <laughs> That's cute. Yeah, these are just little pins. And because I need some more note cards at home, I got these. They were pretty, and they were on sale for 74 cents. Can you believe that? And there are a dozen, dozen cards and envelopes in here. Oh, now see, I didn't realize this. Look at that. See, I didn't see that. It's a skein of yarn right there. Oh, along with the flowers and another one that's in here too look how cute is that a skein of yarn it says hi i didn't know those were in there that's nice sweet so there's my shopping shopping trip is that it i think that's it time to go home cook some supper <laughs> bye everybody thanks for joining me hey and don't forget to leave me a thumbs up